How's it everyone? This is Lokohol and in today's video we're going to be crafting a BV bow. This is going to be on behalf of Zgrand, friend, guild member, community member. The modifiers we're looking for are going to be from Essence. So 200 weapons, this gives us 123 to 144 increased spell damage. Then we're also going to be getting plus one level of socketed gems and then hopefully some crit multi and then we're going to multi mod it to finish it off. It's actually a super, super easy craft, but we're going to see if we can get some interesting extras on it. So to start off, just want to hit it with an essence of woe. And what I'm actually looking for is probably some kind of critical strike. Oh, damn it. It's coming up. Uh, never mind. Multi. We can type in multi. But if you want to go on a mega budget, this is actually super easy. Let's see. What do we have? No multiplier. I don't know why it's showing up. Yeah, there we have a bit of crit multi. Damage over time multi. No. That, that is tier one. Ooh. It's a very interesting bow. All right, but we did hit tier one crit multi and tier one attack speed, which has finally been fixed to show tier one. I want to see if we can save that multi. Uh, it, it's a long shot, but we can try. So, just gonna annul it. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Anyway, see a bow. Let's see if we can get that multi back. This is a little bit greedy. You don't necessarily need multi, but I want it. I want this bow to be fancy. That is tier two. Do we stick with tier two? We're gonna have to hit like six annuls. Just, let's just smash it. Okay, we failed. We failed. We try again. That's not high enough. Not high enough. Tier four. Tier three, actually. These these are not particularly expensive. That's why I'm not too stressed. These woes, you can get about 45 for one divine. All right, so here we're going to have to hit some annuls. Got one. Failed. Rip. Let's get that multi back. Thing is, once we get past this step, the rest is just like dead simple. So that's why I'm being a little picky. What do we have? Crit multi tier four, tier six. By the way, the item level, we only need item level 73, I think, to hit tier one crit multi. So you don't have to stress too much because we're gonna be multi-modding to finish off. That's tier two and additional arrow, irrelevant, but still cool. Let's see if we can save it. All right, can we annul off the additional arrow? Now, what we could do to do this safely, to turn it into a 50-50, would be to go cannot roll, cast the modifiers annul, then we can't roll off the spell damage, but that's a divine. One divine is like 45 essences, so... All right, rip. Should have done that. Uh, okay. Well, here we have... <laughs> here we have the Socketed Gems, Crit Multi, but we're gonna have to annul off three mods. This would be some, like, god tier annulling to get this. Alright. Alright, we're safe. Alright, now we just need to hit one more annul? Okay, alright. Uh, actually... We could save this. We did. Oh, well, interesting. Now, hold on, wait. <laughs> I just realized we're in a bit of a pickle now. So we can force on plus one socketed gems. But in order to do that, we need to have full suffixes and then go counter roll attack mods as our third suffix and then just exalt it, that will 100% guarantee the plus one. So I think we just multi-mod it just to protect that final suffix. So we can go three crafted mods and then cannot roll attack mods. And now we exalt 100% guarantee to get that plus one level of socketed gems. And now we just multi-mod it. If, you have, if you're really stingy, you could, you could try to annul off the counter roll attack mods. Don't do that though. But I guess what we're going to have to do is remove crafted mods. Now, 
what we're gonna do is go three crafted mods like that. And then we're gonna go support gems, socketed support gems, 2x, so about 40c. And the final modifier is gonna be chance to deal double damage. Like that. Oh, I rolled 9%. But now you can obviously do this a lot more cheaply if you don't want the crit multi. That kind of made it a bit more expensive. I suppose what you could do is. Yeah, I think I think this is probably the right way to do it if you want to get that crit multi. Maybe I should have gone only for tier one, but here's tier two. Pretty, pretty damn good. So very simple, easy peasy craft. So if you don't want to do it quite the way I did it, where I went for crit multi, what you can do instead is just go for essence of woe until you have preferably two suffixes and one prefix like this maybe you want to go for the annul i wouldn't at this stage because essence of war is quite cheap so i would just do it till i have like one prefix two suffixes something like this is fine you can go for that annul try and annul off a suffix if you hit it great then what you do if you have two suffixes and one prefix cannot roll attack mods and then you can just exalt it previously what might have been a bit cheaper Actually, probably slightly is cheap, but it's just a bit more annoying is go. Suffix to prefix. This is a beast called Farrick Wolf Alpha. It's going to remove a suffix out of prefix. It still works. If you have counter roll attack mods like that, you saw it removed counter roll attack mods. And then it added plus one gems. This is the only non-attacked tagged prefix. So you always hit that. Now you'll be in this situation. You can clean off your suffixes. So what you can do is go prefixes cannot be changed and then give this a little scour. And then to finish it off, if you're a bit on a budget, you can go can up three crafted modifiers, craft on two mods you want, dunk, dunk, whatever, and then maybe exalt slam it for the final mod. But if you have a bit more currency, what you can do, maybe prefixes cannot be changed, then go for the Ashling, then veiled suffix, what you want to block. By the way, you don't want to hit a Veiled Prefix, so maybe this is a bit risky, but normally you want to block damage per charge, like that, and then you're going to hit that Unveil button, and you can see something like Chance to deal double damage while focus, really strong, and from there, what you want to do is just multi-mod it up. However, if you do do this, and you hit a Veiled Prefix, what do you do? Like that. Oh boy, that's a bit yikes. I guess maybe this is a reason you don't want to do an Ashling because we want that Veiled Prefix, well, we want that final prefix up for plus two level of socketed support gems. If this happens, annul, I guess, and hope. <laughs> but yeah, I think probably the safest bet if you're on a budget, just multi-mod it straight up. Then when you're done, maybe, maybe give it a, a slam and see if you hit something, maybe cold resistance, pretty nice. But as always, before we go, let's just give this thing a little bit of a price check. I'm going to ignore the base. So this base on this bow is, as you can see, eight divines with six links. Remove the six links, about 1.4, three divine. So let's see the mods. Plus one, plus two, and spell damage. Let's see. Eight divine, ten divine. If we add crit multi, 12 divine. So it was actually worth trying to save that. Chance to deal double damage, 12 divine. Let's just have a quick look on trade. Yep, this is pretty much what we have actually identical, except they got the tier one crit multi. Same with this one, same with this one. It's an extremely deterministic craft. I know people hate me using that word, but it is. It is a very deterministic craft for the most part. So that's why these are all pretty similarly priced. Let's see if there's one that's like much better. Yeah, this one's just got a, a nicer base. So that's it, but hopefully you enjoyed it. Thank you again to Zgrand for this one and have a wonderful day. Stay safe and I'll catch you in the next video. All right, bye-bye. Exile, you're making me nervous.